with the space constraint built in by um, so many of you. And thank you again. Uh, it's meant so much to us. And uh, I wanted to begin by acknowledging our elected officials here. We have a delegate call to action. Um, and <laughs> delegate Ryan Naraki. Delegate Kathy Salega. And they are from our District 7A right here. Um, and David Mark wouldn't be here, but we have Brad, Brad Lang, who is uh, and of course our councilman uh, Julian Jones. Thank you. Um, most importantly, all of you um, who put, put a trust in us, um, believe in us for the last 20 some years. And um, I know it's um, one thing to be married to someone for 20 years, but 24 years. <laughs> and, but working together for 20 years, that's a completely different thing. I don't know how many of you work with your spouse. It's hard. Uh, uh, it is hard. It, it is hard, right? Yeah. So um, all the speeches you have to hear and all that, yeah, but all good. <laughs> so we made it here 20 years later. Uh, just wanted to share a little bit of a story how we started. So when I was at a mortgage company back in 2004, I was an IT manager, and a couple of our um, new family who came from Nepal wanted to be a homeowner, they wanted to buy a house, and they had no idea how to establish their credit, how to go about buying a home, and um, I said, okay, I'll, I'll help you out, but I didn't know myself how to how the mortgage process worked, and somebody at the mortgage company took me under their wing, mentored me, taught me how to do mortgage. Year later, we opened our own brokerage um, out of our basement um, in, in Rosedale. So uh, both of us had, both of us quit our job, good paying jobs, and uh, I didn't advise you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and or we started a mortgage business. We did pretty well in 2008, all of you know, the global financial crisis. It really collapsed hard and it collapsed hard on us. We just had a newborn and, and we were just looking at it, so what are we doing? We didn't have healthcare, we didn't have this, we didn't have job, we didn't have business. So we weathered through a lot of the storms, including the recent one, the pandemic. And um, 20 years later, uh, I didn't imagine we'll be here. And but we are here because of all of you, your love and your support. So I don't want to be sticking you along, but um, we would like to um, invite our delegates. Uh, I'd like to have to say a few words. I'm going to um, start with uh, um, Delegate Kathy Salego. Um, from District 70. Thank you. Thank you. He, it's dangerous to hand a politician a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily, we are not long talkers and we've come up together. I am Delegate Kathy Shalega. It is an honor to be here. Um, we're very proud of you. We're, uh, Brian will say a couple words in a second, but we're both also small business owners that also work with our spouses. So it's very re rewarding and it can be very hard as well. So congratulations. This is a lot of work, a lot of sacrifice. Um, we know firsthand and we're very proud to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm Delegate Ryan Rocky. Uh, first of all, thank you for choosing to locate your business in District 7A. Um, we say it all the time, Eastern Baltimore County is the place to be in Baltimore County. Businesses are coming here all the time, so thank you for doing that. Thank you for also being our constituents as well in, in, in the Middle River area. We, we appreciate that as well. Um, I've worked with my wife for about five years now, so I can appreciate what you're saying, but I will say... Um, it's actually made our relationship stronger to actually be there every day. Of course, there's the, the bickering that you have inside of a marriage when you, when you work together, but um, it has been a true blessing, and I can see that family means a lot to you, as we were talking about your, your sons as well, and I think that that's why you've been so successful and prosperous, because those kinds of things are grounded uh, in family and, and, and faith and all that sort of stuff that I think is important. Um, so... Good luck, uh, you know, congratulations uh, with this, and we look forward to being here to support you in any way we can. And for anyone in the room that, you know, needs any help with anything, we say this all the time, don't get to the point where you're gonna pull your hair out with a, a, a government agency. We wanna help before that point. So if we can help any of you as well, that's what we're here for, uh, and congratulations again. Thank you. 
and we brought a citation, um, the official citation from the Maryland House of Delegates. Be it hereby known to all that sincerest congratulations are offered to Hemery Holmes in recognition of your grand opening, uh, the grand opening of your new office in Nottingham. We thank you for your outstanding community work and your commitment and dedication to serving your clients. So before I call um, Delegate Paul Jackson to come up here, I just wanted to recognize uh, we have a community leaders from Nepali communities uh, and Filipino community, and your support has been tremendous for our growth, and, and um, we, we value uh, what you do in the community and giving back to community. Thank you. Thank you so much. And now... Of course, yeah. Carl Jackson. Everybody knows Carl Jackson, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, good morning. It's still morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is Delegate Carl Jackson. I'm so excited to be here. I'm saddened that Mary Holmes is no longer in District 8. <laughs> I'm very sad about that. But um, I just want to congratulate you both. Um, you have built a, a, a wonderful family business and you help other families by helping them get in homes and that's a beautiful thing. And so um, I'm just so excited to be here and I have a citation. I guess it'll be the last group <laughs> um, The Maryland General Assembly official citation, be it hereby known to all that sincere congratulations are offered to your married homes in recognition of your grand open of the grand opening of your new office in Perry Hall, presented on this 25th day of October 2024 by Delegate Nick Allen, Delegate Bandari, and Delegate Carl Jackson, me, uh, of Baltimore County Legislative District 8. So congratulations again. Thank you. All right, now I'd like to invite uh, my good friend, um, Councilman Julian Jones, and um, also we have a representative from um, David Mark's office. We'll start with, uh, I'm going to hand the phone over to Julian. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Uh, first of all, uh, congratulations. Uh, we're very, very happy. I'm Councilman Julian Jones, and um, I, unlike Kathy Schlega and Ryan and you, Chris, I don't work with my wife. I work, I work for my wife. <laughs> It's very clear who's in charge. <laughs> I love it. I work for her, right? Uh, but uh, first of all, I'm very, very, very happy for you and very proud of your success. I tell people all the time, and you know, small businesses are the backbone of our economy, not just here in Baltimore County, but also across this great nation of ours. So it's very important that you do well. And uh, I am vested in your success. I'm here to help you in any way that I can, as well as I'm sure Councilman Marks as well, as well as all the elected officials here, because we know how important it is for our economy and how it is, how important it is for you to succeed. So we're here to help you in any way. So I'm happy to be here today. I too have a citation. Uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, Councilman Marks is not here, but we, we pay the same people to write these things, so I, I, we might have to compare notes. You want to say some words for Councilman Marks? <laughs> yes, uh, I'm Bradley from Councilman David Marks' office. He's sorry he couldn't be here today. He's teaching, but we're so happy to have you here. Thank you for inviting us to be 
part of this special occasion. And congratulations, and we wish you future success. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to read my citation real fast since we pay people good money to write these things. Uh, be it hereby known to all that the Honorable Julian E. Jones, Jr., on behalf of the Baltimore County Council, offers his sincere congratulations to Premier Holmes. The Council extends his deepest respect and appreciation to Premier Holmes for their dedication to helping families achieve their dreams of home ownership. Since his founding in 2005, Premier Holmes has become a leader in the real estate industry by providing experts' guidance to first-time buyers, sellers, and investors. Through their commitment to excellence, Premier Homes has not only excelled in real estate sales, but has also enriched the community through its support of local schools, churches, and nonprofit organizations. The Council joins with those gathered here today to celebrate the grand opening of Premier Homes' new office, the Council extends Premier Homes for their outstanding achievements and extends best wishes to Helen and Chris for their continued success in making real estate dreams a reality for the people of Baltimore County and beyond. So, Well, we doubled up on resolutions from the council here today. Um, it's more or less the same, so I don't want to belabor everyone, but congratulations from Councilman Mark's office. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Julian Jones and um, and the count, uh, Bradley from um, David Mark's office. Again, I, I see a couple uh, more faces here, and I uh, wanted to recognize my previous boss and broker, Robert Monson. Please stand, stand up, Robert. <laughs> yeah, we never forget where we came from, right? So um, we, I see a lot of uh, uh, a lot of our clients and friends and family who we served some 20 years ago, and, and I'm not going to name everybody here, but uh, you know, it means so much to us. Uh, I see a lot of our family here, uh, and um, our GDBR family, Patty Patty Comer. Let's give her a big round of applause. Yeah, Patty kind of got me into GBBR community and, and volunteering, uh, and she has spent a lot of time helping our industry, our community. Thank you, Patty, for what you do. And, um, and she's the past president and the real draft of the year last year. Uh, yeah. And none of this would be possible um, if not for our agent, our 75 strong, our community, our agents who not only believe in selling, but also giving back to the community. Thank you so much for what you do, and, and every day that you, you help, help the community, help each one family at a time, making their American dream a reality, you know, buying a home and helping them. And, and that's a passion we share from the day one, not about just the business, but helping the family, helping the community. And I'm so honored to, to be spending is a day helping our community, helping you know Perry Hall, Harrisburg, wherever that is. Um, and thank you again. And uh, I told um, I promised Helen that I won't be speaking too much. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna let uh, let the boss say a few words. Would you like to? Yes. <laughs> uh, good morning, everyone. I just wanted to thank everyone for coming here today and for my Filipino people back there. Thank you guys for coming. Um, it's an honor to have all of you here today. Um, I just would like to say thank you to all our previous clients all, for all your support and uh, for our continued growth for always, you know, giving the very homes uh, good reviews out there when you're talking to people. So 
Thank you so much. Um, we do a lot of our community service because we wanted to help people. We wanted to make our community a better place for all of us. So give you examples to our kids, you know, we want them to, for us being here, we, Chris and I met in college actually, so that's how we started. Um, you know, I'm from the Philippines, he's from Nepal, I don't even know where Nepal was when we met. I said, so he gave me a book and told me to so read this and this is where Nepal was. So from then on, I've met every, most of the so Nepali that are, <laughs> I did, <laughs> maybe a page or two. So from then on, then I, like, I love Nepali culture, so it's a blend of two cultures, so having Nepali community and Filipino community support has been really tremendous in our business, so I would like to thank everyone today for being here and for all your support. And with that, if anybody else would like to speak. So um, after this, we're gonna do a, we're gonna have a ribbon cutting outside. So we're gonna use that door, uh, on the side door, go up in the front, front of the building, we'll have a little ribbon cutting, and we'll come down for, uh, for lunch. How's that? All right, thank, thank you again, thank you so much. Or from this way. Yeah, you should be on the other side. Yeah, you guys be in front. We could stagger up on the steps or something like that.